sweetest Hello, it's Sunday, kind of. Right, so um, the questions were this week. I thought I'd rather hat because I'm Cersei. Cersei's evil, evil hat, evil me. Sorry, I'm kind of croaky. I've just woken up. I'm literally tired, like really tired. So, anyway, here are the questions. My favourite character is Gemma Doyle because um, she's kind of quite ruthless at times, but she's also really kind, and she does make mistakes. It's one of the only, you know, heroines who make serious mistakes. And I just really relate to her character, which is a stupid answer, but I'm a stupid person. That's my answer. My favourite book of the GDT is Rebel Angels, because um, there's less of the realms in Rebel Angels, and also you find out who Cersei is, and um, it's just an interesting book. I like a lot of the quotes in there. How did I find the series? I was wandering around a bookshop and I saw Rebel Angels was the first book I saw and I picked it up and I wanted to buy it but I had no money so I went to my library and ordered it in. They sent me Rebel Angels first because they're weird and that's how I got the books. I found the series late summer of 2006, I think, probably, sometime around then. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what you meant, but I guess you mean like Team Kartik or Team Simon. Um, I would have to say Team Kartik, but I don't really want to say because that kind of makes it a bit like Twilight, which I really don't want it to be. I don't want to be like Team Edward or Team Jacob or all that sort of stuff because that's not really what the books are about. So, and also there's never any question whether it's Kartik or Simon in my mind. It's always Kartik. As much as I love Simon, I mean I'm a Simon fan, but I just think that I don't want to get into the whole team thing. So, I will say Team Kartik for the sake of the question. I'm 17 and my birthday is February 9th. It's so cool that we're all Aquarians, that's really creepy. Um, yeah, so I'm 18 in a few weeks. I live in Deal, which is like here in England. It's in Kent and it's near the sea and it's a crap town. It's a horrible place. My favourite band would have to be The Hush Sound. If you know me from the boards, you'll know that I'm always trying to get people to listen to The Hush Sound because they're so epic. If you've not listened to them, you should because they're epic. Or Isley, I love Isley as well. And Breaking Benjamin and lots of other bands. I like lots of music. My favourite standalone book, this is really hard because I've read quite a lot, so I have a lot of favourite books, but um, my favourite standalone book would have to be Pirates by Cecilia Reese. Cecilia Reese? What am I on about? Celia Reese. Yeah? Am I right? Yeah, this book right here. Um, I read this at the height of my pirate obsession. It's a brilliant book and I suggest you read it because it's epic. And um, yeah, that's probably my favourite standalone book. The main character is a little bit like Gemma. Which is kind of why I liked it as well. So, read this book. I have read Twilight. I didn't like it. I've read the whole series, so don't, you know. I do know what I'm talking about. I didn't like it. And I have written a 1173 word essay on why. So, if you want to see, just comment and I will tell you. I'm not a nerd fighter. 
but I would like to be. Except I won't join because I feel like I'm jumping on a bandwagon. So no, I'm not a nerd fighter. I'm an Aquarius! Yay! Like most of us. Um, we are what, intelligent, genius, elitist, creative, independent, all the things, you know, a lot of good things, but we're also like stubborn and evil, so yeah, Aquarians win. My favourite number is four because, I don't know, it just is, because it's an even number. Here ends the video. There is nothing else to say. I um, look forward to seeing you next week. Hopefully I'll be on a new camera and I won't be stuck in this stupid room again. And um, life should be well, so goodbye. In a history books forgot about us and about